Hey, we're going to get straight to it today. I promised you that I would show you putting a restrictor in this side link to try to slow it down. Hey, Dave, show us the speed that it goes without the restrictor. Now see how it, it just goes way too fast. Press that like button. I know you're going to love this one. And make sure you're subscribed. We're going to put a restrictor in that. We're going to put a restrictor in the Iron Fist Grapple because it goes too fast. We're also going to answer the question as to whether we need one restrictor or a restrictor in each direction. Let's get started. Uh, we just need to try one, right? We just need to try one, right. Right there. Oh, you were carrying, no wonder I couldn't find them. You cabbaged onto those uh, things. My bad. Oh, I don't know about bad. I think you know a good thing when you see it. So this is JIC to JIC. We got it from boltonhooks.com. There's a link to this restrictor in the description. Use code TTWT for some sort of discount. You, right. You've already learned, Dave. Right, I'm, I'm very good at that. Right, Boltonhooks.com. Okay, so we've got one restrictor in one side of this. I haven't even paid any attention to which side. And we're gonna see if we slow this down. Now this is a tiny cylinder, like a one inch cylinder. Oh, look at that. Now go halfway. Go just a smidge. Yeah. Before, before it was one button press, it was all the way down. Yeah, so try it three or four more times. I'll make sure I, just a smidge each time. Just to let you know, the links to this Summit Hydraulics Top and Tilt Kit are in the description. Don't forget code TTWT. And it seems to impact, it seems to improve both ways, right? Both ways. I think it feels like it impacts more going up than going down. But that may be user error. We could try putting one on the other side if you wanted to. Yeah, why not? Let's see what it does. So Ken has these restrictors in several different um, thread conventions. Um, we're using the JIC 06 or 38 to JIC 06. That way it'll just kind of go right in any, any JIC 06 connection. So any 38 JIC connection we can we can fit right in line. It's got male on one end, female on the other, so it just fits right in between. So look your lines over and, and see whether you can use something like that. JIC is pretty common, but it's not used everywhere. Um, you, you really need to figure out which threads you have in your lines. Discount Hydraulic Hose has a nice uh, description on their website. You can find descriptions elsewhere too to try to figure out what threads you're using. I think two is slowing it down more than one. I think it has. Yeah, it's definitely smoother. I like it. Okay, so I'm not sure that I have enough hydraulic genius in me to explain why. Because in theory, the hydraulic oil should be going in a loop and one restrictor should be fine. But I believe a restrictor on each line is slowing it down and making it more smooth. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, well, clearly. So we don't have a good way to like time clock or anything, but uh, I think visually, just you can visually see it, so. You wanna move on to the artillion grapple? I think we should. Before we go, these are, I think they're $10 each. That's and, a good deal. Um, you can get those at boltonhooks.com. You can see where to put them. There's, you could have put them in several different places. Almost all top and tilt kits can use these restrictors, right? These cylinders are small. These tractors operate fast. What we're gonna see over here on the artillion grapple is in a, lot, in a lot of ways, even worse. Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one, um, 
the grapple moves a lot with a little bit of cylinder movement, but number two, we're on Johnny X. So we've got triple the hydraulic flow. So without any restriction, Dave, it's pretty bad. What we've done here, we don't have enough, well, we'll show you the hodgepodge that we have down here. We don't have enough of these, but we just don't have enough hydraulic components at all to do what we really need. So what, we're, what we've done is we've unhooked one of the clamps. This clamp here is totally unhooked. We just unhooked it, it's not gonna move at all. You see those two lines there are totally unplugged, okay? And we've, we've cobbled up enough um, hydraulics here to be able to put one restrictor in right here, okay? And then we can de decide whether we wanna be plugged into the restrictor or not. So we'll first show you what it looks like uh, without any restriction. And of course with Johnny X, with all that hydraulic flow and only one clamp moving, this is gonna be pretty bone jarring, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, go, now make a motion as small as you can make it. That's that's it. That's that's it. Okay, now close it all the way and then loosen it and then open it just a little. Okay, shut her off. And now key back on and there you go. Now the pressure's released. So we're going to unhook just this one hose. This is the unrestricted, and we're going to plug it into the restricted line. Okay, That's a three-way splitter down there, so we're able to cheat a little bit by using one of the middle uh, holes in the splitter. And the th reason we need the three-way, well, we don't need the three-way, but the reason some people need it is if they choose to put a third clamp in the middle. I think there's no need for a third clamp because the two on the end work well, but that's, just, that's why there's a three-way splitter there. Okay, Dave. I'd say that if a guy wanted to, he could set this up so he could have quick and slow. I don't know what purpose, but I certainly think he could. Yeah. We've, we've done it. We yeah. don't have a purpose to doing it, but somebody yeah. else might. That's a good point. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I'm sold, okay? I want restrictors and everything on this. I guess we've determined that one restrictor in each circuit will, will help a lot, but for whatever reason, two seems to make it better. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we don't have enough plumbing parts here to cobble together two to illustrate that on this one. Um, and so I guess that's gonna have to be it. Get your restrictors, boltonhooks.com for either the Artillion Iron Fist Grapple or any grapple if it's moving too fast, and for the Summit Top and Tilt Kit, right? And you heard my concerns about the Summit Top and Tilt Kit for the One Series? Well, this is a big one addressed. So being able to move that slowly is much more of a selling point. There, there has been a lot of these sold since I showed that in the first video. It's been really popular. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments if you are one of the ones that bought one of these kits, uh, the top and the tilt, or just the tilt for the one series. Um, I think this is gonna be a big hit. Dave, you're wanting to try one more thing here. Yes. So, <laughs> tell me what you got in mind. So, I have two of the restrictors stacked one on top of the other. And reason being is that my understanding of the way that this system works is hydraulics is a loop, right? It's a continuous loop of flow. So the difference between this system and that system over there is that one has them just off by what? Four foot of hose, five foot of hose. This one's one on top of the other. In theory, this should do the same as that. Tim disagrees, I think, but we're gonna find out. So. Yeah, I don't know. Now, now let me let me just clarify one thing. It is hydraulics in general is a continuous loop and right. an open center system, but this is not continuous. This one, this this loop only flows um, when we push the button. 
right? So when we open that valve is the only time any fluid flows. Yes. But still, yes. your, your point makes some sense. Uh, even though the restrictors that we have set up over there, it's still two restrictors in one right. well, circuit. And if you notice when we did that one, it was, even though they're one on one, one on the down and one on the up, it's still slower up and down. Yeah. So in theory, this okay. should be. Well, let's see what we let's see what we think. I really don't know. Is this a daily doubtable with Dave? We'll have to see how it goes. A triple D. Ken now has 04 or quarter inch JIC restrictors, which fit directly into the hoses on the Artillian grapple. So if you've got Artillian grapple of either the Iron Fist or the earlier traditional style. Get the dash 04 female to dash 04 male JIC 0.031 inch restrictor from boltonhooks.com. Okay, I'm gonna be the judge here. And my judgment is that I'm not sure it went much slower, but it looked to me like it was smoother. Yeah, well, I, I'm kind of in the same boat. I was expecting a more dramatic result, but there, there wasn't. I, that's not a definitive. But you went several times and I didn't see it as herky-jerky it, it almost seems like the double restrictor makes a difference and we saw it smoother. Jerky. And it was certainly smoother over on that one with two. Two and one on each leg. Maybe what we should do is take the two from that and stick it on the one. We could do that pretty quick. Okie dope. Your hands are already messy. Okay, so here it is. Two restrictors on one side, none in the other. Very easy to visualize. What's your prediction? I don't know, at this point I, I'll I'm curious. I'm just curious. My prediction is that it doesn't run as smooth as it did before with one in each. Let's see what we got. I don't see any difference. What? It seems to be about the same as, as having both or well, having one on each side. I was going to say, I think it's slightly faster, but still smooth is the only thing I was noticing. But that could be just because we were over here messing with this one. I'm almost so. certain that it's smoother it's with two restrictors. It's for sure smoother with two restrictors. And it may or may not be slower with them split. And as the reason for that, I don't know. I have to go home and do some homework and find out. But it's working. It's only an extra 10 bucks, guys. Come on. Yeah. Take care of our friend Ken. Boltonhooks.com. Use code TTWT. Now he's a robot. <laughs> Dave, thanks for your help. Absolutely. You're the one that had to get all dirty in this one. Uh, yes. Yeah. We'll have to get a rag after this, but. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christy allowed it back in. Well, Christy didn't see it earlier. Right. If Christy had seen it earlier, it'd be back outside where it belongs. What? The cat? The kitties. Yes. Well, Izzy has no sense about moving parts. Wrong purpose for their artillery and grapples. Yeah.